How to self bill with your supplying companies using ETZ's timesheet software. Once logged in, you simply go to the supplier entry screen. From here, you will be able to see a list of the supplying companies you have set up on the system, and you then simply choose the supplying company you wish to update. Once in, you can then choose the self billing option with a simple tick of a button. Once happy, you then update the record, and once updated, this supplying company is now self-billing, therefore any timesheets that are processed for that company will now create a self-bill invoice. So if we choose the self-billing option from here, the system will now show me all the self-billing invoices I have waiting to be created. I can choose each one individually to create, or I can choose the Select All button and create them all in one go. In this example, I'm just going to choose this bottom one for clear. I can then choose a document date, and I can also choose a payment date, and then I simply click Create. Once clicked, it then deletes that record from this screen. And what it's done is actually moved it from Create into an undelivered folder where it's created the self-bill invoice. Once in the undelivered queue, I can then view the self-bill invoice that the system has created. And here you can clearly see the self-bill invoice. It's got the timesheet details, and it's got the total amount that's going to be paid, and it's also got the date in which it's actually going to be paid. This can then easily be emailed to the limited company from the system, simply by clicking a button and clicking Deliver. And again, you've got the option to select all. Here's a copy of the email that the limited company will receive with an attachment of the self-bill invoice. And further to that, you can then export, once you've created a batch, you can export your BAX file in order to upload into your banking system and also your accounts. Thank you for watching our self-billing process video.